Hey there, I'm going to talk about addiction and treatment. So I'm going to talk about how addiction works in the body and I'm going to talk about a treatment I found for addiction. Um, so from what I've read and in my opinion, the, the way addiction seems to work is dopamine. Now, this is kind of like a feel good neurotransmitter. It's very significant um, neurotransmitter and it makes you, I guess in some way it makes you, it gives you drive. It makes you want to achieve things and it feels good. So dopamine will be released in the pursuit of like a task. And when you achieve that task, you will also get dopamine released. Now, the trouble is that certain behaviors like gambling or substances, you know, like certain drugs, um, they can give you a really high reward because they can make you feel really good. Um, basically based off little effort. So the way our brain's designed, it can be quite easy to say, Hey, you know, this is making us feel really good. This has given us the biggest dopamine response with the little or smallest amount of work. Why don't we keep chasing after this? Um, and this is kind of how you get addicted because you might engage in something that really spikes your dopamine. Um, you find it really enjoyable. And in some cases, some drugs actually increase dopamine themselves along with the kind of experience of going after that drug. So th those are drugs that are really hard to give up. Um, I won't, I won't like detail them all now, but, um, yeah, so, so some drugs can be really hard to give up for that reason. But if you're chasing these behaviors or drugs that really spike your dopamine, um, and you really enjoy them and they're really easy to get, you might be less interested in day to day things that you might normally get dopamine from. For example, wanting to eat or doing day to day tasks, like your dopamine might drive you to say, Hey, I'm going to clean my house or I'm going to eat this food. And then when you also go through with that, you know, you will get a reward, um, which is more dopamine. But because these drugs and experiences spike your dopamine so high, you can be more drawn to those. And then the problem is that the more and more you spike your dopamine with these um, either drugs or experiences, the more your dopamine is going to come down afterwards because with all these behaviors even the healthy ones you will get a spike in dopamine and then your brain will drop it afterwards and then that will cause the opposite opposite feelings of good you'll feel pain or might feel some suffering or you'll feel a bit low now if you're constantly abusing these things that spike your dopamine not only will you have a massive drop afterwards but your baseline level of dopamine will permanent, not permanently go down, but you have a new baseline. So if, so for example, you might wake up and you won't be as engaged to do day to day activities because they won't seem exciting to you because they're going to give you this little burst of dopamine, but it's going to be nothing compared to the massive highs you, you experience in the other activity or activities or whatever it is you do. So you can kind of see how you can get obsessed with that drug or experience now. And you can kind of say to yourself, well, you pro well, you probably have this question with yourself in your head, like, Hey, should I, um, should I go do my day to day tasks, which I don't really want to do. They're not very rewarding. I don't feel like doing them. Or should I do this other thing, which is going to be a massive hit and I'm going to really enjoy it. Um, so yeah, you can see how easily it can be to become addicted. So and once you're fully addicted to something and abusing it all the time, your dopamine is going to be really low. So your baseline when you're not doing that activity or on that drug is going to be so low that you might even feel depressed or down when you're not doing that because your dopamine is so low. So this is kind of the problem with addiction and how you can get addicted. Now, there is a treatment method which I saw or learned in a podcast so that's with Andrew Schuberman, who has some really good podcasts himself anyway. And he brings a guest on called Anna Lemke, I think it is, L-E-M-B-K-E. 
and it's called Understanding and Treating Addiction, episode 33. So I'll put a link below. So to our podcast, and she, she, this is what she specializes in. Um, she has, you know, she's a, she helps people with addiction. She's a psychiatrist. She, she treats people. And part of her treatment process is that she asks the people to stop what they're doing for 30 days. Now, I know it sounds really obvious, like, hey, just quit what you're doing. But I think it's really important having that 30 day timeline. And she breaks it down and she explains more and more how addiction works. And so it kind of gives you some hope and something like tangible. You can see it. You can write it down. So she talks about how in the first two weeks you're going to feel horrendous and you are going to feel really horrible. And I'm currently in day seven of doing this. And it's really good to keep that in mind because if you are feeling terrible, it's fine because you should be feeling terrible. And again, I wouldn't recommend just suddenly going cold turkey, giving anything up, you know, obviously talk to a doctor, listen to a podcast, get advice from a professional before you do anything. Because if you give certain things up too fast, it can be dangerous. But she talks about how, so like I said, the first two weeks, they're the worst. And then week three, you start to become a bit happier you start to feel light at the end of the tunnel and then week four you should start to feel yourself again so instead of having no enjoyment in day-to-day life you know you might get enjoyment from other things like yeah you you will get enjoyment again from day-to-day life like you might want to go out you might want to engage your friends you might want to go to your classes or to your job um and that's kind of the whole concept and the whole thesis or theory behind it and I think it's really helpful so I would definitely check it out she goes into a lot more detail I'll put the link below and yeah I hope that helped thanks